Hello, my name is Adam Cassidy, and I am a PLM application engineer here at Saratech. Today, I'll be going over how to duplicate or clone an assembly or bill of materials in TeamCenter's Active Workspace interface. I'll be working with this hand drill assembly for demonstration purposes. Let's switch to the tree view just to get rid of the overview tab on the right hand side. None of that's needed for what we'll do. And we can start the process by clicking on the duplicate button in the bar at the top here. This will enter us into a planning mode and update a couple of things on our view. Right now, we are planning out the actions that we want to take when we do the clone or the duplicate. So by default, we'll be doing a save as action on the top level. That means that the newly created item is going to have some sort of ID. We don't know what it is yet. So we have pending listed, listed here in green text. The item ID of the uh, original item that we are saving into a new item is listed in red and crossed out. Additionally, the properties of this save as item are now editable. So we could come in here and provide some new information or modify these properties as we see fit. Now, these properties are the properties of the newly created item, the one that we haven't quite created yet. We are not changing the properties of the item revision that was already in the database, the one that we're saving from. In addition to being able to modify those properties, we can go down the bill of materials and make changes to its components as well. So let me expand this out. We could decide that we'll also do a save as for this component. And then we have a similar interface. This is actually a subassembly. So instead of doing that, we could do a save as and copy children to apply that save as action to all the components of that subassembly. We have a few other options as well. I could remove a component, in this case, a subassembly, which also removes all of the children underneath it. I could also replace a component. So here I could replace these lithium ion battery clips with a brand new empty item that I create from this menu, or I could search for an existing item that's already in Team Center's database and replace with that. So you can see the original item ID part number is in red and crossed out, and then the item ID of the new one that I've selected to replace it with is in green. If you wanted to do a complete clone, it's pretty easy. You can just use the select all button and then right click and select either that save as or save as and copy children to apply that action to all of the components you have selected. For now, I'll go ahead and click the save button in the bottom right, proceed to the next dialog. Here we have two options. We could select default IDs if we wanted Team Center to generate the next IDs in its list. So that would just follow the normal numbering scheme that's defined for your Team Center environment. Or we can select the ID naming rule and start filling in some of the boxes here. So we could add a prefix to the beginning of the item ID, a suffix to the end of it, or we could search the item ID for some text, some string. So for example, all of, all of these particular item IDs have a 3001 in the middle. I could replace that with a 4002. Lastly, we have this run in background checkbox. If your Team Center environment is configured, to allow this to be run in the background. When it completes, you will get an alert down here notifying you that everything has been saved and created in Team Center. I'll go ahead and hit the Save button and let this run through live since we're not making too many changes. It should be relatively quick. And now Team Center has opened up the new item, top level item that we created. You can see our properties have updated 
This is the clone. And our item IDs have been updated following the rules we defined. So I added beginning to the front, end to the back, and that 3001 has been replaced with 4002. If we go back and compare with the original rest, uh, assembly, you can see the original information is still intact here. That revision name and description was not changed. All right, that's all I have for now. Thank you and have a nice day.